We're back with another little showcase of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This time with something that is fairly popular among runners, especially among those that participate in so-called bingo races. In speedrunning, bingos are races among people that try to complete a row in a 5x5 card filled with possible goals. The first player to fill and complete a row of goals wins. If you want to know more about these bingo races, make sure to ask Zelda runners about it. They're usually very happy about every single person interested in them. Now, one of the more common goals on these cards is to obtain ice arrows. While this sounds rather obvious at first, there's also a very unusual way of achieving that goal. But what would that be? Well, what if we would, for example, try to get ice arrows as Child Link? As complicated as it might sound, it is possible. First, we'll walk against the fence and perform a backflip. It is important to note here that we have to pause before every action, including an A input. If we wouldn't, we would talk to the Gerudo guard, and that would ruin our trick. So we pause and input a backflip as the menu fades. During a specific time, we once again pause and unpause to perform a roll, wait for a specific frame during the roll, and input another backflip with our shield up as the inventory fades once more. This performs a so-called mega flip, which blasts us backwards. And thanks to that little bump on the bridge, it's enough to actually get us over the fence. This could also be done without any bombs or bomb chews using the Kuko. But let's not use any ancient and extremely difficult strategies. Once we're over the fence, we gotta make it past the guards. This is rather difficult at day, but really easy at night as their vision isn't as good at night as it is during the day. This way we can make it to Gerudo's fortress as child. Once we arrive, we realize that there are no guards at all. This is because the map also has an alternate version for Child Link. There is a chance that this map was meant to be entered by Child Link at some point in the development, but then got scrapped again. But we're not really sure about this. We can now make our way to the Gerudo training ground, which is closed off by a gate, just as it normally would be. We climb on the top of a building and position ourselves at a certain spot so that a side hop and a side roll gives us a good angle and position for another side hop off the building. This side hop happens to be above the loading zone for the Gerudo training grounds. Combining the angle with a well-timed jump slash lets Link clip into the building very slightly. Not only is this far enough into the wall to get us past the gate, it is also putting Link's sword so far into the wall that it can't collide with the wall itself anymore, ultimately preventing any possibility to recoil. As we are now in Gerudo training grounds, we just have to get ice arrows, which is rather simple as child. We head to the key maze with the locked doors and climb up the fence. If we now hit A to drop off the fence, we can draw a bomb chew, drop it in midair to make it explode, and hit forward shortly after again to grab the fence. The game now tries to make Link stick to the fence again, but the bomb chew will damage us at the same time. This results in the bomb chew pushing us through the fence, and we can get to ice arrows without collecting a single small key. Obviously, there is also a way to get there as adult without collecting small keys, but that way is rather hard to pull off at first. So there it is, ice arrows as child. You can now equip Swab to get the water temple boss key, or participate in bingo races, or just collect ice arrows as child. I guess that's impressive as well. Oh well. Thank you for watching our little video on the variety of glitches that games have to offer. We're just getting started with this, so drop a comment and tell us what you think of these little videos. Subscribe if you haven't yet, or don't subscribe. It's not like we could change it.